The final City Pass versus Kareem Hashinov is the first semi final for the Men's Australian Open for 2023. And both guys have had different roads to get to this stage. Stepanov City Pass started the tournament off as a number three seed and took on Hellas in the first round and would get through in three tight sets 6 3, 6 4, 7 6. In the second round, he'd take on the wild card Hitchikata. And this was Steph's most impressive performance, dominating in straight sets 6 3, 6 Love, 6 2. In the third round, he'd take on Grixpor, who'd won a tournament earlier in the season before the Australian Open, but it didn't bother Steph, who got through in straight sets, 6-2, 7-6, 6-3. In the fourth round, he'd take on the number 15 seed Sinner, who he'd played at last year's Australian Open. And this turned into a classic. After Steph took the first two sets, Sinner would fight back to force a fifth, but Steph would get through in five, 6-4, 6-4, 3-6, 4-6, 6-3, to, to advance to another Australian Open quarterfinal. In the quarterfinals, Sidney Bez would take on the unseeded Lehechka, who had had a very good run to get to his first quarterfinal. But experience came through with Steph winning in straight sets, 6-3, 7-6, 6-4 to get to another Australian Open semi-final. Hashinov started the tournament off as the number 18 seed and would take on Morales in the first round. And after a first set that went to a tie break, he got through in straights. 7-6, 6-2, 6 love. In the second round, he'd take on the wild card Kubla. And after playing a 70-shot rally and dropping the second set, Hashinov got through in four. 6-4, 5-7, 6-4, 6-2. In the third round, he'd take on the number 16 seed Tiafo, who was looking very, very strong. But Hashinov dismissed him in four. 6-3, 6-4, 3676. Six. In the fourth round, Hashinov would take on the number 31 seed Nishioka. And this was by far the easiest match of Hashinov's tournament. Double bageling in the first two sets to prevail in three. Six love, six love, seven six to get to another Grand Slam quarterfinal. In the quarterfinals, Hashinov would take on the very impressive 29th seed, Sebastian Korda, who had had a dream run to get to this stage. And after the first two sets went to Hashinov, Korda unfortunately had to retire due to a wrist injury, handing Hashinov another semifinal at a slam. 7-6, 6-3, 3 love, retirement. These guys have played five times before, with City Bass leading the head-to-head 5-0. Hashinov has barely won a set, but this will be the first time that these guys meet at a Grand Slam in best of five sets. If Hashinov is going to win this one, he needs a figure out how to push Sitsi Pass around and try and push the ball through him because Hashinov can hit a hard ball. Sometimes he just gets in a little bit of a pattern though where he rallies. He needs to be more aggressive and try and hit the ball a little flatter so he can get Sitsi Pass moving out of the court. If Sitsi Pass is going to win this one, he needs to play with variety. That's what he's been doing so well in the last probably six to nine months. He's been playing really, really well, coming to the net, serving big. He's going to have to do that again against Hashinov. It's going to be a very fun matchup because we thought Sitsi Pass would be here, but Hashinov is a bit of a random one, but I'm going to go with Sitsi Pass in four sets. I think he's experience at this level and the fact that he really wants to get to a Grand Slam final again after Paris from two years ago. I think he'll beat Hashinov in four sets, but let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this semi-final?